Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Art Beats Cafe Live. I'm Cynthia. And I'm oh, Sherry. Oh, for Art Beats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we are excited today to show you a gemstone. So we're starting a mini series where we show you different uh, colors of gemstone. And today we are focusing on blues because there are so many colors of blue gemstone. It's not just lapis or turquoise. So we're going to show you a lot of different colors of blues and uh, we have some jewelry inspiration and then a beautiful table here with ton of uh, ton of uh, gemstones and then Sherry and I will make something and uh, before we start I want to let you know if you are watching us on Facebook Katie will be um, answering your question if you have any questions and if you are watching us on YouTube you will find below this video the links of uh, things that we are using so I have to say, Sherry, you always make some beautiful tables. Oh, well, thank you. It's so fun. This is know? gorgeous. <laughs> you have a lot to work with. This um, is really, really so fun gorgeous. To, to just play and put things together. I could just do that for hours. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you have to have a lot of beads uh, in color, but um, you know, it's a lot of fun. And it's so fun to see what colors go with the different yes. shades of blues yes so many possibilities and this is what we want to show you is how to mix the colors together so maybe what we can start with is going this way and we're going to start with the jewelry and then we can go then to across the table yes. okay well up front we have some gorgeous um uh, Amazon mixed with gemstone or amazonite right, right? no bronzite, bronzite mixed with gemstone uh, this one is lapis mixed with bronzite. Isn't that gorgeous? That is beautiful, yes. So vivid. And this one is, um, oh, I forget already. Blue Impression Jasper. Blue Impression Jasper with the bronzite. And the bronzite in there is just, it yes. really, it's, it's reflective, it's transparent, it's metallic, mm -hmm. it's so pretty. So I just love those. Um, and then over here we have Cuprite in these smaller pieces, and this has been mixed with a lampwork bead and seed beads. And, oops, this is the um, matte blue Crazy Agate, which I love. I do That's too, one of my and and the matte make it so soft, super soft, yes. isn't it? Yeah, just it love is. that. And the mix of colors that the stones have, you know, mm -hmm. there's just a lot of color going on within each little bead, and then that really shows off in the donut piece. Right, and look how you can put so on in the first piece. I mix it with gold which is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. But the second piece I'm missing with copper and bronze. So it's really a color that you can mix with. Even silver would be gorgeous yes. with that. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Love that. Uh, more cup right here, mixed with crystal and a little bit of gold. And then back here we have blue impression jasper and bronzite and um, crazy um, lace agate and um, mixed again with just the, the warm, we've got kind of bronze colors mm -hmm. mixed in there, which are so pretty. And um, the variance in shades from darker to light, I think is so pretty. Yes. So yeah, This is gorgeous. a gorgeous necklace, Sherry, the big one with those big stones, just oh, amazing. Thanks. Well, I, I just fell in love with this hair and I don't know if you can see him well down here, but he, we have a heron here in this um, really fun um, vintage piece, and then uh, or it's just is a it patina piece. Patina piece, yeah. Right. yeah. Um, and then uh, mixed with the gemstones, and um, it was just such gorgeous color oh. inspiration. It's perfect, it's <laughs> perfect. And and yes. you use big size gemstones. I like that too. It's really an amazing piece. Yeah, thank you. And this is really fun how you've used the gold um, axe and then brought it up into the um, right into the necklace with more gold and yeah. then the beautiful warm. So I was inspired powder. by the non-design uh, pieces there, and it's it's uh, you know it's related to the sea. So 
I thought those tones work really well. Yeah. And um, I wanted to add some brown in there, like the sand. So it's the sand and, and the color of the sea together. Um, the theme, obviously, was all about the sea and the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Marisol <laughs> says that's her favorite crocheted necklace. Oh, oh okay. yeah, that's, that's, that's amazing. And easier than it looks, so you just do it over and over again is all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but fun to do. Yes. Okay, and then we have, um, so here is some beautiful matte blue crazy agate. We have it in the flat. Um, kind of coin shaped um, bead and um, I had fun mixing because of this beautiful mat it uh -huh. was fun to put that little pop of metallic in right. there for contrast um, and then I stumbled onto this gorgeous stumbled onto it <laughs> <laughs> just by chance <laughs> <laughs> these beads just appeared and um, this, this um, it's a, a sort of a corally pink, right. right? It's not a true pink and is so beautiful, this crystal with, um, and the fire polish with this blue, I thought. Um, beautiful. I think at first I put these flowers and they have just that little bit of copper. Yeah. And then that just all kind of um, happened. Together. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and lapis. Yeah. I think lapis. everyone loves lapis, right? Isn't that beautiful? We have the um, kind of chips and nuggets and then the gorgeous round. And then look at this teeny tiny little faceted um, lapis strand. I think that might be one of my favorites. Yes. I just love that. The colors, and you see the color variant so much mm -hmm. when it's faceted like that. Yeah, it's, it's a bicone shape, right? Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, and then we have aqua dyed impression jasper here in the beautiful um, flat rounds in a variety of sizes. We have the larger size and then kind of a medium size and then a finer, smaller size. The, um, the rounds so pretty in, again, in a few different sizes. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's the detail that mm -hmm. I'm amazed. I mean, look at this one here on one strand. You have so many different designs on the beads. Those are so beautiful. Aren't they pretty? Sometimes they get lost in that, too. <laughs> when you, you get it, if you get it on a strand, then you cut it apart, and you start looking at each one. Each one is so different. Yes. It's been just a time contemplating. Yes. Love those. thought the red was pretty with that, mm -hmm. and the soft golds. Um, and um, the brass, antique brass, I thought was really pretty with that as well. Beautiful, yes. Okay, this is one of my favorites right there. Isn't that pretty? The druzy. Beautiful, oh. deep, deep blue druzy. Love that, both in the matte and the faceted um, shiny. So the contrast between the two um, is beautiful. Mixed together, I just mm -hmm. love that. And then, in between the beads, you know, where the holes are, is this um, sort of un uncolored area, and it has just this coppery tone right. to it. It's not copper if you look at it, but when I put these colors with it, it sort of dr pulled that out, and mm -hmm. I thought that that was really pretty. It just made it look uh, more organic. And right. Um, so I thought those were really pretty colors with that blue. Marisol said she's druzy drooling. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. a good kind of drooling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then um, blue appetite here. And we have it in a, um, a small round in a mat. And then this um, kind of rondelle shape, which is one of my favorites. Yes. I just love these little rondelles. And again, you can just see that color variance on the strand that is so pretty. Mm -hmm. And um, popped with a little bit of metallic and all in the same color, but just that difference from shiny to matte. Um, and then these sunflowery yellow, oh um, I thought were so pretty with that. And then we have these gorgeous um, um, check glass beads in these kind of murky yellow mustardy tones. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of my favorite beads. I just love that color. So I thought that was a really pretty combo. That's beautiful. Yes. Mm. And then here we have turquoise and bronzite. 
again the bronzite is such amazing it just <coughs> lifted the the colors of the turquoise <coughs> sorry but also i love that it have those um, gold colors mm -hmm. in it and look at the design that it makes on every single stone so what is really cool with those panels is you can choose to just do three stone or five stones and then you can choose some little ones to just make a single pendant um, you can choose the design that you want mm -hmm. this is what is so beautiful it, it's this type of um, stone here I just love it. I do too. It goes really well. Sylvia says this table reminds me of a spice market. These <laughs> colors are spectacular. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? The blue is it's, just amazing. It is. And we forget that there are so many different stones mm -hmm. of, of different blues. So that's what we wanted to show you today. And uh, we have there the sodalite. Do I say correctly? Yes. Uh -huh. Sodalite. Um, this one is a big faceted stone and it really reflects all the, the blue in there and it's not just one deep blue you have some deep colors some light colors a little some that goes even black because it's so dark and it goes so well well silver isn't that pretty it's it sparkles silver doesn't it it does it's just that's so beautiful yes it does here we have a teal a serpentino and bronzite. Mm -hmm. So what is really cool again is the bronzite is mixed with it. And look at the different design and choices that you have in that bead. I just Gorgeous. love that when yeah. you, you know, you can choose the bead that you want because they're so different. And uh, there is this really uh, like chocolate mm -hmm. <laughs> color mm -hmm. uh, bead that we really good with that. And then here, the powder blue impression jasper. I love, love, love this one too, especially for spring or summer. It's such a soft colors, and it had those kind of coral colors mm -hmm. inside. Uh, you see it very well on the square uh, bead here. Really beautiful. Um, this one and this one are two whole gemstone beads. This is really cool. And it goes so well with the uh, copper color. I think this mix is just gorgeous. beautiful. Yes. And uh, we have more jewelry here. So Sherry, you made this one with the druzies. I love mm -hmm. how you did that, like a little pendant. Really fast. How you wire up. Yeah. It doesn't look. Just it shows <laughs> a, I just thought it shows the um, druzies off so well. Yes, that's true. That's true. That's true. And here we have again the turquoise and, and the bronze mm -hmm. I love how you did also the pendant and then you added the uh, the ribbon. It's beautiful. Um, here I had to use the powder blue impression jasper. And I just love this tube and I thought because the tube is big, I wanted some big um, gemstones. So those goes perfectly with it. I um, love that. And I, I love the mix of the silver and gold with that. Right. I think it's a really fun combo. Right, yes. Beautiful. Um, here we have a um, Denin Lapis Lazulis. Um, I think it's this one here. I'm hoping you can see that with a Guru bead. Is that a beautiful bead down and there? Gorgeous. Yes. And, um, and this one here is a Soda Light. That is so beautiful too. And I think the satellite goes so well with the uh, brass mm -hmm. metal. I just love that piece. And then in here, more druzies. Look at those oval druzies. They're so gorgeous. beautiful. Just love, love that. And here we have uh, another stone. Oh, I completely forgot the name of this one. I'm sorry. Blue Impression Jasper. Blue Impression Jasper. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and again, look at the design. It's gorgeous. On the stones, they're all very different. And I didn't want to use silver with that because we automatically, a lot of time we use blue and silver. Um, I wanted to try the copper with it, dark copper, and it goes so mm -hmm. well together. It's gorgeous. Here they are, there was a lot of uh, inspiration here, but now the fun part is Sherry and I, we're gonna make something. And um, I'm kind of sad actually, because that means we have to destroy this beautiful <laughs> table. 
Oh, I'm yes. really. It is. It is fun now. <laughs> it is so beautiful. It's like really. <laughs> but um, we want to show you how to work with this. So I'm not quite sure where to start because it's really beautiful, okay. Sherry. Okay. I just love this. Um, so we brought some chain and spacers and bead caps um, to try to do something. Um, for a while I was looking at the matte blue crazy I got. I really like those uh, stones. So sure if you don't mm -hmm. mind giving me one of the strand. I love the fact that they are coins and really the matte is so smooth. Mm, I mean it, it makes good, the huh? it feels really good. Cindy says she wants something Art Deco, please. <laughs> art Deco. She wants to see. Art Deco. Mm. Hmm. Um, and with that, I was looking at the lapis. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at this trend. This here. one? No, the chip. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought the two of them would be beautiful mm. like that. Oh, look how pretty that is together. Yes. Sylvia said, the lapis in the front, go! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's beautiful. So I might mix those two. And then I was thinking, is this big uh, moon here? Oh, that would look good. Cute. What do you think? Mm -hmm. okay. Love it. So I'm thinking, Art oh, Deco, what does that mean? I'm trying to think. Mm. It always what reminds me of the 1920s, like okay. geometric shapes, like clean, flowing lines. Right. Mm -hmm. Was that more silver then than gold? Oh no, uh, I think you could do that in anything. brass. Bright, you see yeah. a lot of and brass. Mm -hmm. and right. And silver. Right. Sherry, you're still thinking. I am. <laughs> I um, am not sure which way to go. There's so many possibilities here. I'm sort of intrigued by the silver tassels over there and the sodalite. Yes. I think it's really mm. pretty. I think that might be funny. I might take all three tassels. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I'm intrigued. Uh, what are you going to do with three tassels? I know. I'm not sure. I'm just thinking. I absolutely love this color combo. And I, I just love the flowers with them. I'm not sure what that is yet, but I'm kind of... I kind of want to put that together and this chain that's here this copper is really fun so that would be fun I personally love turquoise and reds together mm -hmm. and I'm really drawn to that I thought this sprinkled in this um, beautiful bicone in with that lapis was gorgeous I just can't look I mean I just can't decide <laughs> and I just love this this color combo is very much. Maybe we can ask people yeah, what do you yeah, think? What, you see? what do you want Sherry to use? Sharon said the moon is a good start for Art Deco and okay. Art Nouveau. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if those were kind of looking oh if yeah. they could do I think so. Art Deco with that. Or if it's not uh, geometric enough maybe? Mm. It's pretty though. What do you think? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Shall we can I have the uh, jump ring please? Mm -hmm. Thank there you. you. Go. Well, <laughs> Danielle says, please use the gorgeous roses, the wild rose beads. We have a lot to choose from. So these types. Which I love. Okay, yes. as I grab the tassel. <laughs> um, I, I probably will yeah. do one of those um, they flowers sweet? too. They're sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, well, I'll put the tassel A lot of back. people like these. Me yes. too. Oh, dear. Well, you can do two, Sherry. I can try. <laughs> yes. At the rate I'm going here, though, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I don't know what we'll get to in. I'm going to go with my gut. Yeah. And, whoops. I loved the tassel. And, um,. I don't know what size I want yet, but I thought this color mixed in with this um, sodalite was so pretty. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah, this um, this fire polish here has some bronze, some 
um, green it even, does. blues. It has so many colors. It's a little warm. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It and is. I don't know if I'll incorporate it, but... Are you teasing here, Thank Sherry? You. <laughs> thinking, of, oh, oh, thinking about it. Or maybe, let's see. Sorry, Cynthia. Lily mm -hmm. says, everything is so pretty, I would Thank have you. difficulty making a decision, too. Oh. <laughs> We do, and when it's difficult mm. like that, um, I go with the first thing that really caught my eyes, because I know I want to do so many different things, but I have to start somewhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. And what caught my eyes was the coin and the lapis. So that's why I'm thinking, mm -hmm. okay, I'll just start with this. Go and then yeah. I, can, I can go on with something else. Yeah. Carol exactly. says, stunning combo, Sherry. Oh, good. What do you think it's of beautiful. these beads? I'm thinking maybe not. Why and not? Maybe, well, I think they're cute. Do you mm -hmm. like them with that? I do. Okay. Because I was thinking, well, maybe not, but I do think they're cute. I do. Okay, I'll keep them. I um, mean, the, the the what I like is because they have a lot of details mm -hmm. in them. So it's that texture. kind of bring texture to those tassels, too. It does. Too. It does. Um, okay, I, good. Good. <laughs> I <didn't break> it. <laughs> I'll keep them. Okay. So what I'm playing here, I... I put the lapis first against um, the moon because it really makes me think it's night time. It's dark, you know, a blue, beautiful night outside and the lapis goes really well with the gold. Um, so that's why I put the lapis first. And then I'm putting those, um, those blue, um, what was those crazy, I guess? Yeah. Yes. Um, just to lighten up a little. But you could go with just the lapis also. Um, with the gold, it's, it's really gorgeous. And right now I have, I really have the feeling it's a beautiful night out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with this Love beautiful that. moon. Um, I don't know, sometimes the pieces talk to me like that. There is a steam behind <laughs> them. Like this one is like, oh, it's a night time, you know. <laughs> And uh, so let's try this bead also with it. Yeah, I like that too. And I put here a spacer, so maybe I'm going to take that spacer out. And then do it like that. There we go, like that. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Ah. Oops. Just basically. I just love lapis, and I think that was my first blue stone that I work with. Because it has a nice name, too. I love saying lapis yeah. lazuli. <laughs> 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 you know, it's a really beautiful name. I don't know why, but it is. It beautiful. always reminds me of ancient Egypt, too, because yes. it was used a lot back then. Exactly. Lapis lazuli. So what is everyone's favorite gemstone? I would love to hear. <laughs> Vicky, do you have a favorite? I love Labradorite, which mm. Labradorite. Is, it kind of has some blue tones in it, mm -hmm. um, but it has that kind of silvery gray, gray flash. Me too. Um, another one that I really love that's blue, that's kind of um, more of a high-end gemstone, is Larimar. Um, it's oh. beautiful. It looks like the ocean. Oh, right. Yeah, that was rather very beautiful too. And Sherry, what is your favorite? Well, I agree with Becky. I love Labradorite. Um, I love. I tend to love warm colors, and mm -hmm. Labradorite really isn't a warm yeah. color. It's right. cooler, but it's still. I just there's something about it. I think it's so beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. What do I love? Oh, Cheryl likes Labradorite too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Marie says amethyst. Mm -hmm. Amethyst, that's beautiful I love too. Amethyst. I love them all. Yeah. Barbara says turquoise, any kind of turquoise. Danielle loves turquoise most. 
Mm-hmm. Sharon loves lapis and crazy lace agate. Barbara loves cool. azurite. Azurite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. What kind of color is that? It's blue. blue. It's blue also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I have a favorite favorite also. Because everything is... Uh, I do I do really like the... Um, has the name of those impression jasper with all the different colors in it. Oh, the Mardi Gras impression yes. jasper. Yes. I do too. I just love it's a party. Yeah, yeah. there's so much fun. There's so many fun. colors in it. Ooh, that. Connie said Labradorite is beautiful with a touch of red. Mm. Oh. I never thought about that. Mm-hmm. That's a great idea. I love red. Katie likes garnet. Mm-hmm. Yes. Me too. So um, I had some of the larger beads in here, but then when I held it up, the tassels didn't hang nice. So mm. I've gone down to the smaller sizes, but I love that kind of fringy mm-hmm. look. I love that center tassel cap. I think it's so cute. It's really cool. Yeah. And, um, and then I'll probably work in some larger, mm-hmm. larger ones. Lorraine likes rainbow moonstone. Oh, the moonstone too, they are pretty. Okay, so I think I, um, this is pretty much what I'm doing with that necklace. Cute. So very simple, just a pretty like that. I love this Mm, moon. Cute. I think the moon is really beautiful. And uh, yeah, so that would be my first one. And you know me, when I have like a buffet <laughs> of beautiful beads in front of me, I have to make something else, yes. right? Yeah. <laughs> I cannot stay with one. It is a buffet. It <laughs> is. <me. laughs> so. It's a meal for your eyes, right? <laughs> right? Well, for French people, you know, I'm French. Um, I always tell my kids when you prepare a meal it has to be good appetizing for your eyes too so you have to have colors you have to have presentation you can make something very simple but if it please your eyes (laughs) it's gonna be good (laughs) so I feel the same here Connie's asking what size stringing wire do you use I use the Arby's jewelry wire uh, it's the uh, 0.19 diameters mm-hmm. medium and weight. it's the medium and 49 strand and the number of strand is really important we really like the 49 strand because it's very flexible mm-hmm. and it doesn't kink and it's really smooth so it's it's a very easy um, jewelry wire to use and you can see we use them with those gemstone even for a medium mm-hmm. it's strong enough yeah, I, I very seldom do I have to go up to this heavier gauge. Me too, The 19 yes. really works for most everything. Sometimes mm-hmm. you need something finer, mm-hmm. um, depending Fine. on what you're doing. But for the most part, the 19 is... Cheryl says go-to. she's loving the three tassels. Oh, good, yes. good. So I think that this is... Um, I have one more little segment to go. This is kind of what I've got going here. That's really cool, Cheryl. <laughs> I think that's pretty. That's mm-hmm. really pretty. Kind of bib length, um, not too long, mm-hmm. and then I'll continue. I like the larger um, beads in here. I really kind of wanted them down in here, but it made these tassels go kind of wonky on the side, Bye. and they hang nicer this way. So um, mm-hmm. I think that's what Cute. we'll do. So I'll move on. Mm-hmm. So Sherry, so, do you think you're gonna do? You wanna use those big flowers? Um, if you want to, go for it. I can go another direction if that's what you want to do. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's really hard. So it's someone so um, asked if we could use the flowers, right? Mm-hmm. I just love, love, love the flowers. And um, let's see. Okay, I think I'm going to do this. Woohoo! Mm. 
with the blue appetite. And I love that. Mm -hmm. um, mm, so cute. Those two, those are really, like you say, the metallic really pops. It just pops. Hmm. Everything here with those flowers. Okay, since you're doing that, I'm just really drawn to this group mm -hmm. here. So I think maybe we'll, we'll go there with the matte and the shiny. Oh, there's actually, we've got some off the strand already. We'll see if I need to go further. And love this. Um, I don't know, this is one of those cheruby colors. I don't remember exactly what that color is, but I just think that's so pretty with that. And I love these little flowers. Look at those. They're so cute, Aren't yes. They just beautiful. Sylvia says, yes, Sherry. And Cheryl okay. says, yellow flowers, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are going good. in the right direction. Okay. Good. <laughs> I think it's we really, need your help today to tell us what really to do hard because to go wrong with these, <laughs> we today is kind of like what do we do? They're so beautiful. So what I'm doing here, I think I'm going to put those four flowers like that and this one as a pendant Ooh. like that. And I used, um, this is a piece of wire <laughs> with <laughs> the, um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> <laughs> with the uh, finial. So uh, you just glue that um, bead at the end and you're making your own uh, head pin like that. I think that would be cute this way. And maybe I can add, let's see. This Ooh, Sylvia cute. said I might have to buy multiple colors of those flowers and make a flower garden brooch. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh, yes. Would that be cute? Yes, those flowers are really, really beautiful. Okay, look at that. So. I'm putting two spaces on top of this flower. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Like that? No. I know, it's in it. I'm doing that too. <laughs> I <made it> too. <laughs> yeah, I just love uh, the drops. So let's see. I'm thinking. I'm doing only one in as a drop. You're doing all of them? I think I'm going to do oh, all Oh, that would be cute. Isn't yes, cute? that would be adorable. Isn't that cute? Love. <laughs> Pamela asks, what is the best glue to use to make head pins with the females? Um, you can use either a two-part epoxy. Five minute works really, really well. You can use a super glue. Um, I like um, a thicker type super glue, the gel, gel type, because right. it doesn't run everywhere. Um, the trick is just not using too much. Um, and I like to clean them off, so I, I tend to not go the super glue route because they're harder to get that excess off. It's hard to get on your hands mm -hmm. um, because then you start sticking oh, to everything. I so I really do like the two-party epoxy better. Oh, I see. Okay. But either will work. Yeah, and the, the great things <coughs> you know, to remember is um, when I started to do the finial also, I had different colors of finial, different colors of wire, because you can do, you can do uh, here, they are gold, but you can do it in silver, in any type of wire. So I had lined up like that, a lot of my wire ready with the finial, and then I just, like a mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. production, I just glue yeah. everything together. Yeah. So you can make a bunch. All you all can all. make exactly. a bunch, yes. And here, 
Sherry made those and she did a really good length of wire and that's really good because you never know how many beads you're going to put on them. So I always feel like it's better to do a longer size than a shorter one yeah. just in case. Yeah, unless, on. yeah, unless you really know that you're going to use only for one bead then yes do a, a, a shorter size length but if you don't really know what you're going to do then make sure you have enough uh, mm -hmm. length on your um, wire. Definitely. Dee says it's so inspiring to watch you ladies create jewelry. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Good. It is inspiring to watch others, isn't it? I, I love, yes. love seeing what other people do. I do too. Once in a while here at our beads, we have a, a big party with um, everyone and it's really cool to see that everyone chooses things differently and um, yeah, we have fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna see what I'm making here. So I choose one metallic, three of those um, rondelles, and then I'm thinking putting a mat in the middle. And then three more of those rondelles. And then probably another metallic to kind of make a, a segment. I like making segments. I like that, but I feel like you see this little uh, one in the middle is kind of sad. It gets lost. <laughs> it yeah. gets lost. It gets lost. Mm -hmm. So you need something. And since I put that spacer here, I'm thinking why not putting that spacer in between? Sylvia said that's a party I'd like to attend, <laughs> and attend the beating party. I know. We did that um, last Christmas, what? We had a potluck mm -hmm. and then a beating party. And yeah, that's fun. Food and bead. Mm -hmm. What else do you want? <laughs> Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> okay, I prefer this way. Yeah. And then I'm thinking putting one of those flowers. Oh, Cindy said she's always loved Victorian morning jewelry. Like, mm, morning. me too. Yeah. Me too. I'm not quite sure, like, like ones made with like human with hair. hair. Yeah, mm -hmm. those are always interesting. I don't know what those are. So Victorians, um, when people passed away, they'd often save like their locks of hair and make oh. art out of them. That they would make like framed mm -hmm. pictures. Okay. And, and turn the braided yeah it braided it, turned them into like little mm -hmm. flowers. Oh wow. Yeah. I love that. And then there's the lover's eyes that mm -hmm. Sherry and I love. I love those. What is that? So like just little like lockets or rings with a small painting of an eye of someone's eye. Really? And it's called oh. lover's eye because it's it's usually like their lover. So they can oh, open I it and see. look at their their loved one. That's cute. Love those. <laughs> gonna check what those are Let's oh danny that. let's all go on a jewelry cruise can you imagine <laughs> the creativity yeah that'd be great i would love to do that that'd be fun a cruise okay so what am what did i do here first mistake you see how my uh flower is going this way is because the way how i did my loop so i even need to fix my loop or put a jump ring here well, good thing that I saw that before I'm stringing my whole necklace. And let's see if I can fix that a loop. And I just need to twist it a little. If I can. Sometimes you can grab and twist, but sometimes not. I think I did it. I should have checked that before <laughs> mm. I put some bit. Mm. No. To twist a little more. Is it staying now? Yes. So now it works. I can keep going.
Oh, Sherry, that looks really cute. Isn't that cute? You know, it goes with your uh, what you're wearing today, too. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> That's really mm. pretty. Something like that, I think. Yes. Love. It's a very rich, here, isn't it? Very rich yeah. colors. Um, yeah, it looks beautiful. Okay, again, if I put the big ones in here, it kind of spreads them out further, and I kind of like, because when it's hanging, they'll be, I don't want them too spread apart. So I think something like that. So is that the way how you usually do, Sherry? you leaning out first, and then? Um, I'm going to say usually, but not always. Okay. I'll kind of get an idea going. Um, kind of center out right and but then you know until you actually see them on the strand together and how they sit and hang that's true you never know that's so that's true yeah I, don't, I usually kind of get an idea at least but um, subject to change <laughs> right I'm not as organized I just have to um, I like what I always say I like to make a beet soup first and then I just um, grab things and see if they work, mm -hmm. which is not always um, time efficient because sometimes I have to <laughs> take things apart and redo it. Uh, but I'm, I'm all the type where I have to see it done before I can make a decision. I yeah, it. yeah. My decision doesn't happen until the very end. Right. I do a lot of undoing. You do. Mm hmm. Look at that cute. That was really cute. So I'm, I'm working with Crazy Agat. Okay. No, I think you have the blue appetite. Because you picked it up with the... Blue Appetite, yes. okay. <laughs> oh, you just showed that. Oh, I forgot this one. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> what about if I put that one instead of the mat? Let's see. I'm gonna try here at this end and I forgot to put my bit stopper I'm gonna lose everything Cheryl says she's loving the yellow flowers with the blue I do too yeah this blue is really pretty so instead of I'm switching here instead of the mat I'm putting the just a, a normal that bead, and I wonder if I prefer that way. Mm. That. What do you think? So here is this mm. the shiny one, and here is the matte one. I think I like the shiny. What do you think? Mm-hmm. I think so too. It, I think it shows up. Right, more. Mm hmm Okay, so this is when we say, you know, you redo things. <laughs> 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 it happens. So I really like those mud beads, but um, I think we don't see them enough. They get, they're getting lost still. And Sherry, you say something mm. once um, with the metallic beads, you know, the first time I see the metallic, I, I was thinking, whoa, that's a lot of metallic. <laughs> but you said, but you know what? You use them, you use them as little pop of colors here and mm -hmm. there. And you're so right. I mean, look at just this little metallic bead here. It just give a pop up. It's, um, I believe it in does, them now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
It does. I, think I just bonded with the metallic liquid. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, I prefer this way. Okay, so I've added in the copper spacer here, which Ooh. I think is nice. Um, that is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Yes. But then I'm looking down here and thinking, well, mm, do I want a little copper spacing going on down here? Would that be beneficial? And either in between here or in between there. So I'm gonna try that on this side and see if I like that better. So that's what I mean by that, undo and do. <laughs> Just you can always improve. So let's take these two off and we'll experiment. Do we want the copper down here between the blue? So I think this is what I'm doing. Just a little um, sweet bracelet uh, necklace. Here I didn't change. Um, I didn't uh, change the beads yet. Uh, but you see on this side I have the shiny ones, and on the other side I have the mat. So I'm going to replace the mat uh, later. But I would love to do something else. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't know. Oh, bless, bless you. you. Excuse me. Okay. So, what next? I did light blue. I did, okay, those tone of blues. So, maybe I'm going to go with very light then. With the uh, powder blue impression, Jasper. And um, I really like, you know, those two whole beads. No, this one is just a one hole, but those are two whole beads. And I'm just gonna do something simple with that, like a, a small bracelet. So Sharon says, I was hoping you'd use that. <laughs> so I have a pinion to ask. Okay. I have this three ways. So I have the center with no spacers, like that. Mm -hmm. I have spacers just on the other side of the blue, like that. Or I have spacers right at the pearl, at, at the bale. What do you guys like best? And then the spacers will continue mm -hmm. up. You know, I love spaces, mm -hmm. so <laughs> I tend to go with spaces. I like this one and this one, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think both of them, they're really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm leaning towards this, even though they Me look too. a little large mm -hmm. for yeah. it. I just, there's something about yeah, Sharon how says doing that. At the like, bail, mm -hmm. um, Danielle says on the outside with the spacers. This one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cindy says spacers on the either side of the blue. Mm -hmm. Spacers with the blue, says Pamela. Mm -hmm. Either side of the blue, says Barbara. Mm -hmm. Spacers next to the blue beads, says Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> At the bail, says oh, Nikki. Okay. So it's it seems pretty evenly of, distributed. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, I'm going to go with this one. At the bail yeah, and like see that how one. that looks with the rest yeah, of Cheryl the... Cheryl says spacers at the bail. With the, um, <laughs> with the rest. I so handy to have I know. one here. <laughs> can make decision for us. I do that all the time here, and you can <laughs> you can ask Becky <laughs> um, and Katie. And <laughs> <laughs> I wander about and ask everybody, "What do you think?" Okay, so I'm gonna use those uh, two holes gemstones and 
I'm just putting, so I have two strands here. Don't forget, bead stoppers. I'm using some small one, but Sherry has some big uh, bead stoppers. And I'm thinking maybe with those beads, they might be a little big, but I'm gonna try first. Pretty. Mm -hmm. So, and not sure if those, the, those bead might be a little too big. Oh yeah, side by side, I think it's too big. I'm gonna have to find something else, but let's try that first and see. Maybe. I love those colors together, mm -hmm. it's just beautiful. Very princessy. Oh, I see. So no, you can see they, they don't align very well. I don't know if I push. No, it doesn't look good. So those beads are way uh, too big in there. So I need to find something else. And something else, uh, let's see, it could be a spacer maybe. There's some teeny beads here. You could put some seed beads also. We don't have those um, today, but I think a two or three millimeters would be really cute with those. Oops, I'm sorry. That might be too big, yes. So let's try with these mm -hmm. here. I just love that pearl with those. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Well, this pearl you can always use, I mean, you have that strand too you can use with that that would be beautiful mm -hmm. oh that would be gorgeous but i really wanted to oh do something lisa with said can you put the two strands of wire through one round bead i don't think so mm -hmm. let me finish that and we can try so let's see with the two strand in there I think the wire, the jewelry mm -hmm. wire, it's a little you would need too fine. thick. Yeah. Yes. Um, if you had, um, you can do with um, um, thread. Yeah. And the thread will go to thread. It <coughs> not, doesn't work with it. So I think I'm just gonna do with that. Um, but we can make it a little more fun than just one in between. So. <clears throat> Liz is asking what are those blue beads she is using. It's powder blue impression jasper. They have the coral inside and it's just beautiful. So I'm working with two here. Like that. Uh, this is what I love with spacers. You can really just play with them like I did one three now I'm doing one and I want to choose some colors here okay. there you see so I think next I will do three you doing Sherry? Good. I'm liking that. I think that's sweet. That is really beautiful. Yes. Isn't that cute? <clears throat> Liz, it's yeah. powder blue impression jasper. Now I could go back. Now that I have the big ones in here, I've got the larger, which are the shiny um, facets. The smaller ones are the matte. And so I've got the larger ones going up the strand. Looking at it now that I've put the spacers in, I could maybe go back and put two large ones here in the center. Or <laughs> I could go back and use only large ones across the center. I didn't start with them because I had them up against the uh, loop of right. my pendant. And my loop is small. They were too large for that. But now that I've got the spacers in there, right. I can easily go large here 
all the way across or maybe just center um, and yeah yeah that's what maybe Sharon said across. large and center mm -hmm. would be cute yeah okay good for that I'm not going to take that apart right now I think maybe I'll move on to how are we doing on time do we, or we is it time to stop it's going to be time pretty okay, soon okay then I will I'll just continue um, with this one what I'm doing here, so I did this. I think this is really cute, you know, something sweet for a bracelet like that. And then I really want to show you the effect. <laughs> I really, I really like those uh, mm -hmm. uh, those bead together. I mean, I think they look really beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I so love that. pretty. I mean, just something simple like that. And. Uh, Let's see, I'm going to do like, let's see, three. And then I want to add those because I think I love the shape of these two. So that, I think I'm going to put three and then one more. You like that? Oh, I love that. That's pretty. I like that. So I could do, yeah, just, oh, I'll just do five. I've got the feeling that I'm going to finish with a chain because I didn't cut my wire long enough. <laughs> I think I thought I was doing a bracelet and now it's like, mm, no, I want a <laughs> necklace out of it. So that's the thing you can do too if you don't have enough wire you can always finish um, with a chain with a ribbon and we did a video um, about how to finish your um, your piece if you add of beads but also if you add a wire like I did here uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to finish with something else but isn't that cute Love, love that. those colors, yes. Really sweet. I really love those colors. Okay, I think we're gonna have to finish here. Um, we can do that all day, <laughs> 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 but we have to stop sometime. <laughs> it's sad though. <laughs> well, thank you so much for uh, joining us today uh, for Arby's Cafe. If you are on YouTube, remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos like uh, this one. And remember also to uh, click on the bell to get all the notifications. And you can find us on our other social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and Pinterest. <laughs> Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye.